Is that? Yeah, our temporary leader. Hey guys, what do you think? He's like Spider-Man, isn't he? Check this out. <laughs> Roll on 3.30. The sooner we're on that cruise ship and away from Lonesley, the better. Mediterranean, here we come. Congratulations on reaching the end of term and making resilience education such a success. The wall is a thank you from me to you for all your hard work and to celebrate everyone's achievements. Oh, that's dead eye, that, sir. Yeah, I know. Consider this your last resilience challenge. You gonna give it a go, Gabriella? Maybe. I did the real thing on my Duke of Edinburgh. Yeah, I know. Every form will get a chance to tackle it. And I have to admit, it's pretty sick. <laughs> Three cheers for our new head teacher! Hip -hip -hooray! Hip -hip -hooray! Where do they get all these details? At least informed us they dropped all the charges. This is rubbing salt into the wound. That climbing wall is not just for Gabriella Walk's benefit, is it? Of course not. But working on the wall with the other kids might encourage her to fit in. Have you seen? Yes, yes, I did the phone interview. You did what? Parents are concerned. We need total transparency to move on. Move on? Simon, Christine is our friend. Has anyone even spoken to her? Not since picking her up from the police station, no. Wow, she's up in front of the Board of Education this morning. They'll decide if Christine can continue to teach in our local authority. Yes, and advise the GTC about striking her off. Yes, well, I'm sure Sue's dad will make the right decision about Christine's future, but we need to focus on the school. Poor Christine. She was drink driving, Audrey. Kindly remind you that the police have no evidence. She could have killed a kid, right? Well, she deserves everything she gets. Come on, troops. Assembly time. I agree with you about Christine. So? It's the end of term. Come on, Sue. Let... We're not just clear the air. I'm sorry, OK? I'm sorry about Vix. Yeah, so am I. Uh, since now, she's moving thousands of miles to get away from you. You are? She's moving to Berlin today. Are you happy now? Vigilant student, Lenny Brown. Congratulations, Leonard. Well done. And now to our academic awards. Ms. McFall? Thank you, Mr. Lowesley. Now, the first academic award we are presenting today is the History Cup. And this is going to be presented to a pupil who, after a shaky start, has really impressed me this term. The winner is Gabriella Walk. <laughs> Congratulations, Gabriella. Well done. Would you like to say a few words? Yes. Uh, I'd just like to say. Our Casey's going to the Commonwealth Games. I'm through to selection. I'm not definitely going yet. <laughs> Right, we're going to look at the role of the mechanicals in A Midsummer Night's Dream. Are they just there for light relief? So we'll discuss it in your pairs and we'll share in about five minutes. I bet Casey doesn't even get accepted to the Commonwealth Games. One word, hermaphrodite. What? Lady boy. Oh, please, can I sit with my friends, miss? Yeah, of course. I thought I might have heard back by now from the police. I'm college police. You will. I've got some good news myself. Actually, Imogen, would you mind pairing up with Gabriella, please? Oh, do I have to, miss? Gabriella, we've not started yet. Quite frankly, I don't give a damn about the mechanicals. In fact, I hate them. I wanted to apologise to you all in writing. You didn't need to do this, Christine. Everyone understands. Do they? Because I don't. What I did was inexcusable. Stupid. You're going to give them what for at the council today, yeah? Isn't this too little too late? I just wanted to say I'm sorry. 
Look, read the letter, Bennett, whatever. I let you all down last week, the pupils, parents, everyone. You came into school wasted. Is this really called for? You have ruined all of the hard work that you've done here. And your career. Well done. Man. Lisa, get Mr. Reed. Tell him to find the climbing instructors. What happened? She stamped on me hand. I didn't touch her. I don't know why she's saying this. Because she did. Makes you believe me. Look, just calm down. We need to get you to the hospital, OK? Casey! You should be here, not now. Mum, come on. I can handle this. It was here! Gabriella! She's lying. Well, let's save the finger pointing to later. I reckon Gabby did do it. Casey was well good up there. Casey! Oh, what are you doing? She's so sweet <laughs> out. <laughs> Don't worry, your mum will look after you. What were you two doing up there unsupervised? Mum, we'll be late. Sonia, can you fetch Chasne, Montrose, Lenny and Lisa Brown, please? I want to hear what they saw. Yes, Mr Lowsley. I've already spoken to them while you were with Gabby, and they didn't see anything, so it's her word against cases. I'd say it's a foregone conclusion. This isn't a witch hunt, Nikki. Gabriella should be reported to the police. Sonia, do you have a direct number for them, please? Hey, hey, bring it in, all right? You are too close to Casey. Could you just hear yourself defending her, Simon? She's a borderline sociopath. No, she isn't. She's a kid. An upset kid in our care. We should be helping Gabriella, not condemning her. Look, I'm head now, all right? And what I say goes, so just drop it, OK? OK. Oh, um... Acting. You're acting head, Simon. You should remember that. Sorry, I what, shouldn't have left the wall unattended. No, you shouldn't have. I'm going to be oh, in touch with you your boss. This is an insurance matter, if not a legal one. Gabriella's mum is in the foyer, and apparently she ain't too happy. Gabriella, I want the truth. Now. Casey wouldn't make up something like this. So, why don't you admit it, then we can just move on? I've told you. Everyone has given you the benefit of the doubt. You have been given a stack of second chances which have thrown back in our faces. So now it's time to say sorry. Sorry to Casey, sorry to Mr Reed, and sorry to me. All right. We'll phone the police. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that your relationship is so flimsy that a 17-year-old schoolgirl could destroy it. That's what this is about, isn't it? Don't be ridiculous. You're blaming me for your sad little life going off piste. Shut up. All I did was tell the truth about you and Mr. Reed. I said, shut up! Make me. What are you doing? Ow! What are you doing? Ow! What are you doing? Gabriella, stop Get it! Me. Ow! Stop it! Ow! Stop it! Ow! Stop it! Ow! I wanted this to tell the truth, but I. Soja. I saw you. Right. Do you really think I'd hurt her? I was angry, OK? But Gabriella has set me up. Look, I've got Mrs Walker in my office, and I'm going to have to explain to her what happened. Yeah, and she knows exactly what she's like, because her daughter has caused mayhem at every single school she's attended. Right, that's it. Take the rest of the day off. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to have to no formally way. suspend you pending an investigation. No, I am not going home. Nikki, will you please for once do as you're told? If I leave, it's an admission of guilt, and I didn't touch her. So I am going back to my class, and you can get Gabriella to tell you the truth. The no! Oh, you did the right thing. Going home, I've already made you look guilty. Mm. 
Well, Simon needs to deal with this now. I'll leave you to it, yeah? You know what to do, mate. Casey? Oh, I like that. It has to look too bad, does it? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to swing for that Gabriella walk. You might want to think about that. Yeah, there's some I kind of... some need to tell you. I think you'd never do that. Look, don't shoot the messenger. She just flipped out. She knows I'm moving to Berlin. She texted this morning. Ah, uh, that was me. I sort of blurted it out. Who's the kid? Joey, I'm home! In here, Dad! Gabriella Walk. Her again? Yeah, well, she's ruined Casey Barry's chances for the Commonwealth Games. Nikki's Casey, the boxer. Oh, what a morning! Well, how did it go with Christine? Uh -huh. I've got to finish packing. I'll leave you two to stir the cauldron. Well? Susie, you shouldn't be asking me. Dad, is she gone? I couldn't possibly divulge. But you know that bottle of bubbly left over for my birthday? We could share it with Simon at Sunday dinner. <laughs> Vic! Did you hear that? Vic! Can you wait outside for a couple of minutes, please? I heard you've had a bit of trouble. Again, ignore her. I can't. I didn't touch her. She's just determined on getting me sacked. Don't give her the satisfaction. Just walk away. <sighs> I've, uh... I've got this really great studio in Berlin. Only got the one bedroom, but I thought after everything I've done, I still care. I don't deserve you. Yeah, you might might meet someone in Berlin, like someone better than me. Maybe, but can I borrow you? What are you doing here? I'm trying to save your job. I need to know exactly what happened with Gabriella. You don't need to do this. If I walk away, she wins. Then we lose. In your own time. Nikki. Tell me what happened. I don't want her in here. Does she need to be involved? Yes. Gabriella's story jeopardizes Miss Boston's future as a teacher. We could and probably should hand this over to the local authority and the police, but I think calling them's the last thing any of us need. However, it is 20 to 3, so when the bell goes to the end of school, Mr. Losley will have to follow procedure and call the police, unless we can sort this out now. 